You know, doing the ring is like an undertaking of monumental proportions. It's, it's crazy. And I've been working on it uh, since I've taken over the Atlanta Opera in 2013, or 10 years. 50 productions later, we're finally doing Rheingold. And a part of doing the ring and why it's so rarely done is that there are so many obstacles that are associated with putting this thing together. It's a masterpiece, but it's a complicated masterpiece. It's not easy to put together. And all those obstacles were compounded by many other things that happened in the world, like a little pandemic in 2020. Originally, we were supposed to premiere it in 2021, and we had to postpone it by three years. And it only made us uh, think even more about it, prepare even more about it, get the company, the expertise, the skills, the right staff, the right team to be able to execute this amazing piece. When I think about the ring cycle in 2023, I think about it as the original multiverse. You know, our lingo right now, based on streaming and Hollywood, is all about the Marvel multiverse and Lord of the Rings and Game of Thrones and all those epic TV shows or books that presented those sagas to us. But at the beginning of it all was Richard Wagner that came up with this epic tale. He created something completely original, but it was based on those old mythological stories because those characters are recognizable to us as archetypes, as myths. There's something exciting about it because many of them are heroes, many of them are monsters and gods. It is just this incredible introduction of music and visuals and story that provides you with the tip of the iceberg of what this complete masterwork of the ring cycle could be. And this production is fresh, it speaks to a modern audience, and it has some of the greatest singers in the world. And most importantly for our city, for Atlanta, is that it's the first time in our history that we're doing something in that level. And there is a reason that very few companies in America are doing it. It represents a big Mount Everest in terms of the effort. It represents a risk. And I feel that at this point in the evolution of the Atlanta Opera, it's the right time to do that. We have the right team to do that and the public wants to see it. So here we go.